Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about how to do a full accounting refund in Practice Perfect. Let's get started. Step 1. There will likely come a time when you need to refund a patient or a payer for a product, treatment, or service. Perhaps they paid for a service out of pocket and later found out that their insurance carrier would cover the cost. If this is the case, it won't suffice to simply unapply the payment. You'll actually have to log a refund in Practice Perfect. This is known as a full accounting refund. Now let's see how we perform one. Now first things first, figure out which patient needs a refund and what they're refunding. Then go to their activities by services page. To begin the refund, I need to click the new treatment icon and enter the same fee code that I'll be refunding. If the fee code that you're refunding is based on a quantity, you must put a minus sign in front of the quantity. If the fee code that you're refunding is based on time, you'll need to put a minus sign in front of the duration. And if the fee code is based on units, you'll need to put a minus sign in front of the units. If the fee code is based on visits, you'll have to put a minus sign in front of the visit. Notice how the total in the splitting section has automatically been updated to reflect the changes that you just made, and the amount is now a negative. If the amount does not automatically become negative, simply put a minus sign in front of the amount. Click Add to confirm the charge and OK to save it to the patient's record. Step 2. Now that the charge has been created, it's time to process the actual money exchange. Click Payments on the function bar to open up the new payment panel. Confirm the date that the refund is being issued and select the method of the refund. Select the payment method that you are using to refund the client. While the payment will automatically be shown as a negative, you're also able to type out a description if you wish to make a note about why you're issuing the refund. Click OK to save it to the patient's profile. Step 3. Next I'm going to show you how to create an invoice for the refund. The charge that you're refunding will have some brackets around it. Flag the charge and select Produce Invoice. You have the option to post and print it if the patient wants a copy of the invoice, or to post only if you just want to store it on their client record. Step 4. If you follow these steps correctly, you'll have successfully refunded a payment and reversed a charge. But if you want to confirm, select Reports, Finances, and then Payment Journal from the menu bar at the top of your screen. It's unlikely that the initial charge and the refund occurred on the same day, so be sure to input the correct dates in the Include Payments From field and select only the client you're refunding in the Show Options section. Select Preview to check out the payment journal. You'll then be able to see both charges in the payment journal. However, one of them will be positive while the other will be negative. Alternatively, you can run a payment application report for this specific client to see that the payment was applied correctly. To run a payment application report, select Reports, Finances, and then the aforementioned report. Or you can run a revenue report for this specific client and see that the refund has been entered correctly. Select Reports, Operations, and Revenue Report from the menu bar at the top of your screen. And that's how you perform a full accounting refund. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com. Bye for now.